Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kitten set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves just like this one. <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark, but very exciting. Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes, and they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> oh, wow! I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> Uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here. I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right, be back soon. That was your mommy, telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no, we're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. The feathery thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Huh? Pudding, have you seen my shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. 
Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. <laughs> Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Oh, who let that bird fly away with my car keys? Oh, 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 oh. Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. <sighs> Whistle. <sighs> My keys and spoon. Yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie, and thanks to the feathery thief, they learn that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Mommy. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rocks oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> Come on. 
Do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Over the carefree cat. So, so awesome! awesome. Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat, turn on your cleaning mode. What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Laundry initiated. <laughs> Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. Ah. But then something went wrong. <laughs> oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> 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 One of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, <laughs> oh,
even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. Wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie Pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> Careful going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even dark. 
Look at down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Movie Makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's, it's Daddy! Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those, those words mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the stories. A director tells the actors what to do. And the camera person records it all on the camera. Make up stories? And I like to tell people what to do! <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. Don't need one. Nowadays you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! We're gonna make a movie! Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh -huh. don't lose it. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, and Cupcake. Neo. What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew. I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. We can make it work, but first, we'll need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right, then. Action. Action means do something. Otherwise, the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> oh, I can jump, too, because I'm a clown, after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut. Um. What on earth was that? <laughs> Whoops. I think our ship must have sunk. Pew, pew. How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next. Whale attack. But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. Whoa! <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure that it's time for my song now. <gasps> huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see. It's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy. It's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help. <gasps> the forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and furry. And lovely as my furry face. <gasps> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. We got to find it. Our movie's on it. Well, that's where my dance shoes went. Down the barbecue floor. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> I think I have an idea for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <gasps> and the movie camera was found. Hooray! That evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chase. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> Please, everyone, this movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. Candy's Magic Wand. One day, Cookie and Pudding made a terrible mess in the bedroom. <laughs> Look at this room! You need to pick up my dolls and all this other stuff, too. Candy, you're not the boss of us. We're not gonna do it. Tell her, Pudding. Uh, right. Fine, then. I'll just use my magic wand here to turn you into frogs. Hey, is that really a magic wand? Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Prove that it's a magic wand by using it to clean up this mess. All right. Close your eyes and I'll clean it with the wand. Wand, make this room nice and clean. Cheeky Candy played a trick on the boys to pretend the wand was really magic. The spell is all done. You can look now. Oh, no way, all right. We have an honest-to-goodness magic wand. Now we can wish for anything. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey! You don't have a magic wand, but I do, and if you don't come out and push me on the swing, then I'll turn you both into frogs! <gasps> so Cookie and Pudding push Candy on the swing. Well, great. From now on, we're gonna have to do whatever she tells us, because if she ever gets really mad... I want a cup of tea! <laughs> I don't want to be a frog. I don't either. We've got to get the wand away from her somehow. Hey, give me back my wand or I'll turn you into frogs. I'll turn you into something. Turn Candy into a frog right now. Frog, frog. It's not working! Ah, maybe we have to close our eyes. Like back in our room. Ah, all right. <coughs> we are about to get turned into frogs for sure. We've got to run and tell Mommy. Hey, wait! Come back! Cookie? How could our very own sister turn you into a frog? Oh! Mommy! Stop, Pudding! <laughs> Mommy! Candy turned Cookie into a frog with her wand. Just look! <laughs> look what you've done to our brother. 
but it can't be. Cookie, I'm so sorry. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> oh, so that's where my sailor hat went. I thought I lost it in a bush. Cookie! Cookie. Hmm. So that's where my second knitting needle went. I was just wondering where I had put it. You mean that's just one of Mommy's knitting needles and not a magic wand at all? Well, yeah. I was just trying to scare you guys because you wouldn't clean up our room like I asked. You weren't asking us, you were ordering us. Wait a second. Listen, Candy, if you want your brothers to do something, my darling, there's a real magic word that you need to be using. That word is please. Is it really magic? Uh, Pudding, hand me that frog, please, dear brother. <laughs> Here, dear sister. Thanks, and Cookie, would you open the door, pretty please? Ha, <laughs> yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Doing something for somebody else feels nice when they use that word. Maybe that word really is magical. Goodness, yes. And more useful than any magic wand. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, could you give me a push, if you please? Of course, Pudding! <laughs> Woohoo! Cookie and Pudding! Could you guys swing my jump rope? Please, please, please? Of, of course, course we, we will. will. <laughs> magic wands only exist in fairy tales, but the kitty cats learn that the magic word please is really magical. <laughs> Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first like me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great fashion designer. Now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. And win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with Pudding and Candy would be just so awesome. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. 
Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. You'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Kittens in a jam. Daddy always brought treats home from the candy factory, but today's was special. The candy factory just started making a new kind of yummy cake with special chocolate filling. Awesome! That sounds scrum delicious. Why don't we all give it a try, along with some nice refreshing tea? Mom took the cake into the kitchen to prepare the tea. Mommy! We'd really like to help you with something. Please, can we, Mom? All right, sure. You know what would really help me out? If you fetched me the raspberry jam. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The jam jars are on a big shelf down in the cellar. <gasps> the cellar! Mom kept all her pickles, jams, and jellies down in the cellar. Ha-ha! <sighs> <sighs> Why are we waiting? Let's go! Whoa, there's a lot of cool stuff down here. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, mm, sour, very, very sour. Um, mm, 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 bleh, this one's too salty. Gotta get rid of this taste. Um, ah! oh, mouth on fire, hot, hot, hot. <sighs> Whoa, I am not tasting anything else down here. We're not here to raid Mom's preserves. We're here to find jam. Right. Mom sent us down here to find some raspberry jam for her. How are we even supposed to find it? The jars all have labels. We just need to find the raspberry one. Um, this one says cherries. Cellar skis! <laughs> Giddy up, little suitcase. <laughs> this one says carrots. Hey, down there. What's this one? Cabbage, it looks like. And this one Those is... Those aren't raspberries. They're super duper hot. Well, of course they're really hot. The label says spicy peppers. Hey, look. There they are. Yeah, that's raspberry. Yay, we found it. But there's no jar with the label. Uh, then what we need to do is find a jar with a missing label, right? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Oh, now that's a lot of jam. Now we need to figure out a way to get it up to Mom. But the jar turned out to be really heavy. Maybe we could put it on its side and roll it? Tell me it didn't break. It's fine. All that's left for us to do is roll it upstairs. That's all, huh? <laughs> We're really helpful helpers. It's almost there. Oh. 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 Great. Now we have to start all over. Well, maybe we could just eat the jam down here. And then go upstairs and drink the tea. Uh. But if you're the other container, how will Mommy and Daddy get any jam? Oh. Oh. Then let's just bring the table down here and all have our tea and cake in the cellar. Excellent plan. I don't think I can wait much longer before I have cake. But the table turned out to be too big. We're gonna need a bigger cellar door. 
We're never going to get tea and jam and cake at all. <laughs> I think I just had a great idea. We should put the table back in the dining room and bring some jam up in this glass. Cookie candy and pudding, my loves. You found the raspberry jam all by yourselves down in the cellar and then had the great idea to bring it upstairs in that cup. Yeah, that beautiful glass of jam is going to look spectacular on the table next to our fancy new cake. We're helpful. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite on their adventure in the cellar, and the raspberry jam and special chocolate cake really hit the spot. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first! I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, two three. three. Scissors. Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. Oh, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then! But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. Ship! Magnifying glass! Jump rope! It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fond of this new game. You're all 
all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow. <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. Fire station. One happy day, the kitty cats were given a big toy fire truck and fireman helmets. Look, Dad, their fire trucks just like the one you drive at work every day. Dart's dad is a fireman and drives a real fire truck. That must be so awesome. Driving a truck with a siren while everyone lets you pass right by. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and getting to wear shiny helmets. And spending your days doing all kinds of helpful hero stuff. <laughs> If you'd like, I could arrange for all of you to come visit the fire station sometime. How awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Finally, the day of the big trip to the fire station arrived. Hi there! Hi! Hi. Oh, wow! This fire truck's exactly like ours, except it's enormous! It must be awesome to ride in! Well, to be honest, Cookie, firemen have a very difficult job that requires a lot of work. Our operator here watches the town map. Good morning! Well, hi there, youngsters. If somebody sets off a fire alarm, it will light up on the map, telling us where the fire is. Aw, it's too bad there aren't any alarms on the map. I would love to put out an honest-to-goodness fire. A fire is never a good thing. What would be great is if none of these lights ever went off. Real firemen have to be ready for action every single moment. That's why we train hard each and every day. Follow me! <laughs> First of all, a fireman must be in excellent physical condition. Secondly, firemen need to be able to get dressed quickly because fires must be put out right away. <laughs> Cookie got dressed pretty fast, but where's your other shoe? Candy managed to get completely dressed, but was too slow. This is way harder than I thought it would be. We all need to work together perfectly. We all must know what we're doing so there aren't any unwelcome surprises. <laughs> now you can see there's a lot more to being a fireman than riding in a big truck and wearing shiny helmets. It takes a lot of serious training. I thought it was a lot easier to be a fireman. Yeah, you have to train so hard and put out scary fires as well. There's no way we little kittens could ever put out a real fire. I have a really good idea. Fire alarm! There's a fire in the treehouse, kittens. Get dressed, fire cats! Somebody help! <laughs> the fire is out and everybody's saved! Some really great work there, kittens. It's pretty clear you've been doing some training. We have these special trainee firefighter badges for you. Someday you're all going to make excellent fire cats. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats learned so much at the fire station and had fun along the way pretending to be brave firefighters too. <laughs>